In today's video, I'm going to show you how to, uh, to how to change the material for a certain part or component by the use of iLogic and parameters. So, before we even get into our iLogic rules and forms, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create some parameters at the top of here. <coughs> so, going to my parameters dialog box, I'm going to go and create a user parameter. <coughs> now, what we do most of the time is we'll create numeric uh, parameters, but for this one, I'm going to create a text parameter. And this text parameter, we're going to name material. Okay. Then, uh, as well as making a, a text parameter, I'm also going to make it a multi-value parameter. And I go SS for stainless steel. Let's go titanium, and let's go copper. We can add those in as well. There, you can see uh, this is new in 2023. You can actually, you know, move this up and down the list as you see fit. Previously, you couldn't. You'd have to delete it and then type it out again. It, it got kind of messy. Okay, so that's done. I can go and change this. But as you notice here, as I change this uh, this parameter, it's not changing the material at the top over there because I haven't linked it uh, to any iLogic rules or anything like that. Okay, so now that we've done that, that's our step one. Step two is to go and create a rule. So I'm going to go and create a rule over here. So right click, add rule. We'll give the rule a name, material, and OK. So once in over here, first thing I'm going to do is do an if then end if statement. So if I click on end if end end if statement, I'm able to then go and start putting my expressions in. So first of all, my expression, that's the user parameter that we created, which is your material titanium. If I right click on my material, I can capture the current state. It'll give me exactly what's happening. So it's got a multi-value set. So you can see there what I've created stainless steel, titanium, and copper. Okay, and it's telling me that the material equals titanium. So, um, I'm just going to go and delete this. Okay. And you'll see the if material equals titanium, then go to the next line. Uh, we want the properties of the material. So the I properties, you want your material to go to uh, titanium. So under my I properties, I can go to this material. So get or set the current material. So put my cursor just below here, and I double click on material. So if material, the I prop the uh, the uh, parameter equals titanium, then I properties material must equal titanium. And if so, I'm just going to leave it in test because we always, you know, it's, when you when you're creating our logic, you can do any coding. You want to kind of do then test and do then test. You don't want to go too far down the road, and all of a sudden you find that you've made a problem and it's about 50 lines of code back. Okay, so let's just go and save this and run. Now let's go test it out. So we go to our parameters. We'll go all the way to the bottom, and it's actually changed it. So you can see it's changed to titanium because I have. Um, you know, I had it. I said run the the rule. So going back down over here again, if I go and change it to copper, nothing happens. It still stays on titanium. Okay. If I select your rubber silicone, let's go to my parameters. Let's go to titanium, and you'll see it immediately changes to the titanium material. So let's go and complete this now for our uh, copper and our stainless steel. So let us go back to my iLogic rule just by double clicking on it. And I'm going to go and copy this. And <coughs> else if material equals, let's do SS. SS, then I promise material equals stainless steel. Okay, save and run. Okay. Just wanted to make sure there were no errors there. And then the last one is copper, I think. So take this over here, copy, paste, let's go copper. Then our properties material equals copper. 
Right, let's see what happens over here. So we go to our parameters and let's go change it to copper. Cool, it changes to copper. Let's go change it to stainless steel and it changes to stainless steel as well. Okay, so you'll see over there. Okay, great. So there you can just quickly see how easy it is to, to map a parameter that you've created to your actual eye properties. Um, the materials over there to be able to change the materials of your components and parts in Inventor. Well, thanks very much for watching.